In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a background music or collision sound using Blender and Python script based on your animation. This is entirely an automated process, and we use this technique to create the background music for this animation. The tutorial on this musical marble animation was published last week, and the tutorial link is given below. So let's take this case as an example. We already have the animation created for the ball. We need to now add a collision sound every time it hits a step. To start with, let's open Notepad and write down the frame numbers. These are the frames at which the ball hits the target objects or the floor. You can play and pause the animation or just go frame by frame to identify the collision frame numbers. Then just make a list of those frame numbers. We want to generate a sound of an appropriate pitch at each of these collision points. So get all those frame numbers from your animation and list them somewhere like this. Now back to Blender, we have to open a text editor from here. Then click on the new button and paste the Python script. This script or the code is given below in the video description. You need to first replace these frame numbers based on your animation. So you need to bring the frame numbers from your notepad, whatever you have recorded and paste them here within a pair of square brackets. Then we have a list for the notes. These are the frequencies at which the sound should be generated for each note. So you need to prepare this list as per your choice. These are like Do, Re, Mi, Fa, the sound scales used by the musicians. The value of 96 will sound like and the value of 110 will sound like so this is where you can apply your creativity and you may need some practice with this but please ensure that the number of entries in this list matches exactly with the number of entries in this second list together with these two lists you can compose any tune or any melody you like but it will help if you have some background knowledge on music and notes then you can create a better music for this video, our strategy was to use a distinct note for each color. That means all the red colors have the same note, all the greens have a separate note, and likewise for the other colors. And for this example, we used an increasing order of notes for each step, and then a lower frequency note when the ball finally hits the floor. So let's again go back to the text editor. We can see that the numbers are in an increasing order, and we have 90 at the end, this is when the ball actually hits the floor. Then you need to mention a file path here, within quotes, for the output file on your machine, and please note that we'll get a MIDI file in the output. We can now run this script from here, but if you run it as it is, it will throw an error in this first line. We have to first install this Python package, called MIDI Util. So right-click on the Blender EXE, and select the option called, Run as Administrator. You must have administrative access on your machine, because we're going to install a module. Once Blender opens, let's go to the text editor, then create a new file and paste this one-time code, this code is also given below. It will install a new module into Blender called MIDIUtil, but before we run this, let's open the system console from here, so that you can see the status of the installation. Now let's run this script, and then switch over to the system console, to check the progress. You need an active internet connection to install this module. Once the installation is successful, we can go back to our original script and run it from here. The output file will be saved inside this location. It will produce a MIDI file. So here we can see a MIDI file generated by our script, but we need to convert it to an MP3 file before we can use it. There are many online converters. You can use any of them to convert our MIDI file into MP3. But once you download the MP3 file, you'll notice that it starts from time zero and it sounds like this. However, in our animation, we have a delay before the ball makes the first contact with the stairs. So in order to add this delay, you may need to drag this sound clip so that this music matches with the animation. We are using the free software called Audacity, and you can export this music from here using this export function. Then we can use it as the background music for our animation. Similarly for this musical marble animation, we generated the background music using the same technique, and now you can also create a music like this for your animation. So I hope you like this tutorial, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.